All right, here's a question for you. Is your Christmas tree real or is it fake? This year, some people are making sure the real thing is in their living rooms. Frank Wolf, or Fran Wolf, rather, and Nicole Jolly join us live to show us the real Christmas tree options. Fran, I understand you are a fourth generation Christmas tree retailer and Nicole, host, of course, yes. of True Food TV. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's so great to see you. What a beautiful background as well. Thanks for having us. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank okay. You. It's a beautiful day. It looks so wonderful. Let's talk about having a real Christmas tree. I would imagine even more so for this year, right? People are wanting to create and celebrate that joy and those memories. Yes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. One of the best parts about having a real tree is that shared experience of going out and getting that real tree with your family, going to a tree lot, going to a tree farm. Like you said, 2020 has been a tough year for everybody. And as we're getting to the end of the year, I think we're all looking for those opportunities to make positive memories. Getting a real tree is the perfect activity. It satisfies all your senses. It's outdoors. There's fresh air. The real tree literally smells like Christmas. It does. And so getting that real tree is the opportunity to create those positive memories that I think we all really need to end 2020 on a great note. That's fantastic. Okay, I want you both to help me with something because I know a lot of people have some concerns, right? They're thinking, okay, is this good for the environment? Uh, how can I take care of a real tree? Uh, can you help us out this morning? Sorry, we can't hear you. Look. I hope you guys didn't lose me. Let's talk about taking care of a real tree. Is, is, is that difficult for a lot of people? Can you, okay. can you help okay. us out with okay. that? Okay, so perfect. One great thing about a real, uh, one thing that's really great about a real tree is that it's biodegradable, it's recyclable, unlike an artificial tree. And what a lot of people don't realize is that a real tree is a farmed crop. So once one is harvested, a new one gets planted in its place. And a tree crop over the years has the time to create lasting benefits to the environment. So a real tree is a really good option. Where is the best place to find one? I know this- Do Karen how to care for a tree? Uh, sure, well, <clears throat> caring for the tree, there's three things you can do. So if you get a live tree, what you wanna do first, make a fresh cut on the bottom, and that allows it to start drinking water, and then as soon as you can, get, it, get the water in it so it's drinking water. And then third thing is keep that reservoir full so that it keeps drinking water through the whole season. That'll keep you a fresh, healthy tree throughout the whole Christmas season. And if you want to find out where to get a real Christmas tree, you can go to the website, it's Christmas, keep it real.com. You put in your zip code, it will give you all the options to get a real tree near you from a retail location like this to a farm. You can even buy a tree online this year. The website is also a great source for finding out the species information because unlike an artificial tree, you have a choice. Each year you can try a new style of tree and you can find all that information out on the website. All right, you guys. You know, there's one more thing I'd love to say. Sure, is absolutely. That the people who answered um, a recent survey uh, all agreed that you can make great memories in bad times and a Christmas tree is that perfect Absolutely. way to do that this year for sure. <laughs> all right, Fran and Nicole, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, for me, for it, it's, it's actually seeing the customers run around, the kids run around the tree lot is, oh. is really great and we love that best part of the job. Absolutely. Thank you both so much. Sorry for the difficulties, folks. That's live, live TV. It, it happens for sure. But thank you both. Of course, we'll put that information on IndyStyle.tv. Tracy, just roll with it, you know?